The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Coming up on UMass Sports Insider, UMass football hits the road for Halloween. Looking for a Big Mac victory against a team they defeated last season. We'll preview the matchup against Ball State with the head coach and two of the best players in the conference. And as the regular season winds down for the Minute Women field hockey team, we'll introduce you to the team's leading scorer, a player who was back after suffering a health scare earlier in the season. Plus, we head out into the community with several UMass teams, all of which are making a difference away from the playing fields in Western Mass. We are all here and ready to lend a hand. UMass Sports Insider, here we go. You're watching UMass Sports Insider, presented by Mafre Insurance, Coca-Cola, and Office Depot Office Max. For 30 minutes last weekend, the Minutemen football team dominated an undefeated and nationally ranked Toledo team, scoring four early touchdowns and building an 18-point lead against perhaps the top dog in the MAC. While UMass couldn't hold on for the victory, the game showed more signs of promise as the team looks to start compiling some W's in the final five games of the season. Hi there and welcome to UMass Sports Insider. I'm your host, Josh Maurer. Coming up in just a few moments, we're gonna talk with two of the best athletes on campus, football quarterback Blake Fronapple and linebacker Jovan Santos Knox. But first, we're gonna start by looking back at some highlights from an exciting game last week against Mighty Toledo, a game that put UMass on some national highlight reels as an upset bid was brewing. Let's take a look back, presented by Office Depot, Office Max. It is the most beautiful time of the year in New England. Today we are at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, where it will be the Toledo Rockets versus the UMass Minutemen. Four-man rush. Ely to throw off the back foot, and it is juggled by Zolik and intercepted by Joe Colton. The backfield on first and ten. Fronapple instead will go to the end zone this way for the touchdown. The touchdown catch by Rodney Mills, his third of the season. Ely looking right on first down, and it's intercepted by Randall Chet. Fronapple looking for it all on first down. Touchdown to Nesmith. Fronapple steps forward in the pocket and is looking for Sharp again. He's got him for the touchdown. They fake the handoff to him. Ely throws on the run, and it's intercepted. This time, it's picked off by Trey Dudley-Giles. Let's see what they do here. On first down, Young with a huge run up the middle. Inside the 20, he's going to take it all the way. Marquise Young bursts up the middle, 50 yards for a score, and UMass has capitalized on all three interceptions to score touchdowns. And now we're so happy to welcome on head coach Mark Whipple here to UMass Sports Insider. Coach, thanks so much for coming on. So Ball State this week, here's a matchup of two teams I know are, are really scratching and clawing to get a win. As you look at it, what are the keys to this matchup here on Saturday? Well, we've got to play the offense that's called. We've got to play the defense that's called. And uh, we've just got to find a way to make something happen in the fourth quarter. You know, Ball State's a team that has a freshman quarterback, Riley Neal. He's starting now the sixth straight game for head coach Pete Lembo. So what do you know about Neal in this Ball State offense? Well, we saw him, he had a really good half, second half against Toledo. A big kid with a really good, good arm. Uh, you know, he's got a little more experience now than when I saw him a couple weeks ago. So, uh, you know, very heralded guy and looked really good on tape. So we got to cover, they got the wide out from, from last year that hurt us early in the game. And so they've got some good players. You mentioned last year, there was a great victory, a night game midweek here at McGurk Stadium, 24 to 10 as your team played a, a very complete game against Ball State. What do you take away from that victory that you had here at McGurk last year? Well, you know, it was a great atmosphere. You know, it was a night game. You know, our guys were excited to play. We had 17 days off, and I thought they responded really well. So um, hopefully we'll take that confidence and, you know, apply it this week out in Indiana. What does it take to win on the road, Coach? It's obviously hard for any team in college football to, to pull out a W when you play away from your home. What does it take? What, what makes it so Well, we've got to be me more mentally tough than, we, than we've been, and we've got to play four quarters. That's no question. And we've got to make plays in the fourth quarter. 
didn't last week. We certainly didn't do it this, uh, two weeks ago and this week. So that's really will be an emphasis the entire week. All right, Coach, best of luck. Have a safe trip out there to Muncie. Head coach Mark Whipple joining us here on UMass Sports Insider, and we're going to step aside for the first time on the program. Back in just a few, and when we do, we stay on the gridiron and visit with two all-MAC players. Some big-time talent on the set. Keep it right here. It's football season, and that means excitement, thrills, and adventure. Enjoy friends and family VIP status when your Minutemen take to the field at Gillette Stadium. Be there Saturday, November 7th, as we face Akron. For just $80, you'll get four great seats, a $20 voucher to use any way you'd like in stadium, amazing local discounts, and free parking. Let the season begin with you. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS to get this exclusive deal and lock in your seats today. A forward-thinking insurance company with a global network. Focused on taking care of you and your family. Providing freedom from worry everywhere you go. Moffray Insurance, a forward-thinking insurance company with a global network, providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family. Moffray Insurance. I'm getting ready to shop for school supplies, and I'm kind of super excited about it. A number two pencil, it'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like, I'd open a pack of paper and be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. And I have an agenda. isn't given, it's earned, realized, accomplished, fulfilled, won. Leadership isn't given, it's taken. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. The Minutemen football team have a Halloween matchup coming up Saturday. They'll be in Muncie, Indiana, taking on Ball State. And it's our pleasure to welcome on two of the team leaders, quarterback Blake Fronapple and linebacker Jovan Santos Knox. Their visit is presented by Office Depot, Office Max. Thanks for coming, guys. And Blake, I'm going to start with you. You had four touchdowns last week. It looked like the offense was clicking a lot more like we've become accustomed to seeing in recent years. Was that the case against Toledo? I mean, it really was. I and mean, there's times um, kind of during the first half where I mean, we were running the ball very well and we were connecting on the passing game. And um, just guys, just mixing the ball around different guys. And you could see his offense was certainly clicking. Jovan, 20 tackles in that game. That's a busy day for anybody, but it's one of the highest tackle totals anybody's ever had in program history. What was that game like to go through? Game that had so many points and so many plays where the defense had to be on the field. Um, you know, it was a physical game. We, you know, we had, we knew that going into it. Um, we knew they were going to run the ball, so uh, it was pretty much an inside run drill, and uh, we just came ready. And uh, you know, I was a, uh, you know, it was a, it was a, it was a tough one because they were it was, it was a lot of running. You know, bodies a little beat up, but you know, you gotta love it. All right, enough of last week. Let's look forward Saturday. This is a big game, Ball State and UMass playing with each team, I think, really desperate for a win. First of all, Blake, I'm going to start with you. I'm sure you have some good memories and some bad memories from the game last year. You beat Ball State, you threw for over 400 yards, but then you got hurt. What do you take away from that game? I mean, it, was, it was definitely a weird game, because plus it was one of the, uh, the Wednesday night games. And so I, mean, I have a chance, I had that game that day, but I fortunately got hurt. But I have a chance to go to Muncie and, and make that rupture to go out there. I think it's exciting and it's a new challenge, I think, um, no, Joe Bon and I and the rest of the team are you know, we're excited for it. Your defense last year had one of its best games, certainly most complete in that win against Ball State. Four turnovers were forced. So you have a pretty good idea maybe about what they do on offense? Yeah, you know, they're a really good offense. You know, we're going to break this film down, you know, take it like any other week, you know, uh, come ready to uh, practice, 
this week and uh, you know, be really physical on the field and uh, execute. You know, Jovan, the tackle totals, 20 last week. There have been so many big games you've had these last two years. Tell me about your play individually. Are you raising your level? Do you feel like you're getting better still each week? Uh, you know, I just feel like I'm taking advantage of all my opportunities. I know I feel like I have a lot of plays out there I can make. And, uh, you know, when I take advantage of all the plays, uh, you know, you can see it in the stat sheets. But, uh, you know, if I just do my job and take care of uh, business out there, everything will fall in place. Blake, let me ask you about your season as a whole thus far. So seven games in, I know you'd like to have more victories, but the passing yardage, the touchdown totals are there. Grade yourself through the first seven games. Well, I would say um, for the first seven games, and there's points there where obviously you want to play better, and um, you know, I've, I've, made, I've made my mistakes, and I've missed, you know, missed opportunities, but you know, having four, 14 touchdown passes, and for the most part, our offense has been able to move the ball um, for, the, for, the, for the first seven weeks. And just for us, it's kind of just learning from those, those mistakes and the good things we did and kind of taking those into the next five games. Guys, as we started the interview, I said these are two team leaders. So now as you come into the final five games of your career here at UMass, what do you do as leaders to get the team refocused and get some more victories? I'll start with you, Blake. I think just for us, it's really just it's the same thing we, we tried to do last week, which is take it one game at a time. And I think we, we have five one-game seasons. And for us seniors, it could be the last time we, we ever play football. And so try to enjoy as much as you can and you know, try to just have fun with it and just really just take it every, each week and you know, play by play. Joe Vaughn, how about you? Oh, yeah, just to piggyback off what he said, you know, just want to know every week you want to come in, you know, take, take care of business, like, every, like uh, treat every game like it's a one-game season, you know what I mean? So uh, we're going to you know, finish this thing off right and uh, you know, be excited and have fun doing it. Well, guys, have a safe trip out to Muncie, and let's get a victory against Ball State. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank Joe Von Santos Knox and Blake Fronapple joining us here. Time to take a break on UMass Sports Insider. We will be right back, and when we do, we're checking in with a perennial A-10 contender. And as the UMass field hockey team prepares to try and clinch a postseason berth, we introduce you to arguably their most important player who has just returned to the field. Don't go away. Leadership isn't given. It's earned, realized, accomplished, fulfilled, won. Leadership isn't given, it's taken. Welcome back to UMass Sports Insider. Here we are at Gladchuck Field, the home of the UMass field hockey program. And the men and women are currently fighting to earn a spot in the upcoming Atlantic 10 tournament. They have a huge game this weekend to finish the regular season at Davidson. And for head coach Carla Tagliente, the good news, the leading scorer on the team is back after a health scare that had her nearly missing the remainder of the season. She's a very dynamic scorer with an interesting backstory. Let's meet Izzy Delario, presented by Peter Pan. Her freshman year, she had knee surgery. She missed four to six games. Last year, she called me and she had mono in early July, so that was a bit of a bit of a shocker. And then she had foot surgery heading out of spring season last year, and then the appendix cropped up. So it's she's kind of been dealt a little bit of a difficult hand, but I think she's handled it all in stride. It hasn't been easy, but I think she's done a great job of handling the adversity, but really doing what she needs to do in that off time to be ready the minute she gets back. And I think you saw that with the appendix. I mean, she missed, she had a major surgery, she missed four games, and then she stepped out in the VCU game and scored a goal in six minutes in the game. It was great. woke up and just felt like I was, I was really nauseous and I had fever and chills. Uh, so I saw my trainer when I came into Boyden, um, preparing to leave for the airport. I took my temperature, I was running a fever and I talked to her head coach and she said, you know, I think that, you know, I think you should travel with us and maybe see if you need a rest for Friday and Saturday and maybe by Sunday when you play Louisville, you'll be feeling better and ready to go. Um, but being on the bus, for a short amount of time waiting to take off, I had to run off a couple times to throw up. And at that point, I realized that something was not feeling right. I just said, you know, I, I need to hang back and see a doctor. I basically just said, hey, look, like, if this is what happened and like this is the situation that I'm in, I just got to put towards my best effort and getting better and doing whatever I can to make myself, you know, healthy again. I just had a, a 
keep running forward and think positive things of what to come. I was actually supposed to commit to UVA the day after I visited UMass for the first time in my junior year and I just fell in love. I, between Carla and the teammates that I met and the atmosphere and although it's so much different from my hometown I just had this sense of home and you know they say like you just get that gut feeling and I got it and um, when we were starting to drive back we stopped at Panera Bread and I said to my dad I said I, it's not a hasty decision but I, I need to go here. She went away probably for like a half hour I was working in my office on the weekend and she knocks on the door and comes back in and she's like I just want to I'm gonna commit and I was like it's the first time that's ever happened to me I was like well, this is great. So I went back and went to Carla's office and um, just told her, hey, this is, this is where I want to spend my next four years. She just loves to play and to compete. I think if she could be a student athlete forever, she really, really just loves to be a student athlete. And she loves, she loves UMass, but she loves hockey and she loves to play. And I hope she continues after, you know, in whatever avenue she has to play afterwards because she just loves the game. For me, it's the experience and just living in the moment. And I think that stems a lot from just injuries because at the end of the day it's, you just got to take it day by day and enjoy every minute that you get to spend doing what you love. The, the best part of my day is coming out of practice no matter if it's we're starting on the end line doing some sprints together and grinding that out or just having a really day, great day with drills and I mean even on you know as athletes we know not every day can be the best day as far as drills are concerned or you know there's other factors such as academics and just you know in the part of the season, um, different stressors, but you can't, you wouldn't want to be anywhere else. The Minute Women need a victory on Saturday at Davidson to have a shot at earning a spot in the A-10 tournament. The game starts at noon. Best of luck to Izzy and the rest of the Minute Women. Well, it's time for us to break here on UMass Sports Insider. On the other side, we check in with some UMass teams who have been taking some time out of their sports schedules to make an impact with the local community. You'll see UMass athletes making a difference. We'll be right back. It's football season, and that means excitement, thrills, and adventure. Enjoy friends and family VIP status when your Minutemen take to the field at Gillette Stadium. Be there Saturday, November 7th, as we face Akron. For just $80, you'll get four great seats, a $20 voucher to use any way you'd like in stadium, amazing local discounts, and free parking. Let the season begin with you. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS to get this exclusive deal and lock in your seats today. We're back on UMass Sports Insider. Well, giving back has always been a big emphasis placed on athletes at UMass. And as you're about to see, many minute men and minute women from several teams have already taken time to spread some joy throughout the local community this year. Let's take a look as presented by Mafre Insurance. Let's start with rowing, where the minute women took to the shoreline of the Connecticut River in late September for the team's annual river cleanup project. The initiative was part of the university-wide Mass Impact Program. The UMass team joined forces with other local groups to remove debris from the shores of the Connecticut. A few days later, the UMass men's basketball team visited both the Bay State Medical Center and Shriners Hospitals for Children, each in Springfield. The Minutemen split into two groups and took the opportunity to visit with patients at both locations simultaneously talking and playing games with children at both hospitals. Senior Tyler Bergantino said the day was a great success. We got here and uh, they showed us around, kind of gave us the, the overall story and what they do and like playrooms and stuff and kind of gave us a briefing. And then we got to the opportunity to meet some of these kids and it was just an unbelievable experience. In October, UMass women's soccer welcomed the young ladies from the FC Frontier Under 12 club team to Rudd Field. The youngsters got to escort the Minute Women's starting players onto the pitch before the team's win against rival Rhode Island October 18th. As you can see, the local soccer hopefuls got a thrill out of meeting some great role models. UMass would defeat URI 4-2 for a big Atlantic 10 victory. Then after the match, the Frontier Under 12 club got a special meet and greet autograph session with the Minute Women. Last weekend, members of the UMass hockey team spent a Sunday afternoon lending a helping hand at the Not Bread Alone Soup Kitchen at First Congregational Church in Amherst. Nine Minutemen took part in the volunteer efforts, working in the dining area and in the kitchen. Players then described for us their duties on the afternoon. We were 
serving salad, serving lasagna, uh, some fruit salad. It's actually a really good meal they get here. So it was a pretty cool afternoon to get involved with something like that. So uh, we had a good time. Like you said, perspective on things like we complain about dining hall food, but we have unlimited food, and you know, coming here where people don't even have enough food, you know, kind of puts everything in perspective, saying how fortunate we really are and how well off we are. You know, we take a step back, you just see how lucky you are to have that life. Finally, as part of an annual event, members of several UMass teams joined in with the young students from Wildwood Elementary School in Amherst for the Walk to School Day. The early morning stroll, which took place two weeks ago, promotes exercise, encourages community building, and helps families be more green by decreasing their fuel use and giving kids and families more time to be outdoors. Athletes from UMass field hockey, women's lacrosse, and women's cross country all participated in the walk to school. We have such a uh, you know a big a big supportive following, and uh, it's just great to give back. And um, I mean, really, I I think we all kind of do it just because I mean. If, if you have the opportunity to help people or give back or something, it's just something that, you know, humankind just does, you know, as, as people, as, as, a, as a person, you just, you always look for uh, ways to help and uh, just ways to give back. It's football season and that means excitement, thrills and adventure. Enjoy friends and family VIP status when your Minutemen take to the field at Gillette Stadium. Be there Saturday, November 7th, as we face Akron. For just $80, you'll get four great seats, a $20 voucher to use any way you'd like in stadium, amazing local discounts, and free parking. Let the season begin with you. Call 866-UMASS-TICKS to get this exclusive deal and lock in your seats today. thinking insurance company with a global network focused on taking care of you and your family providing freedom from worry everywhere you go Moffray insurance a forward-thinking insurance company with a global network providing friendly service with over 2,000 professionals taking care of you and your family Moffray insurance I'm getting ready to shop for school supplies, and I'm kind of super excited about it. A number two pencil. It'll get you through the day. This is what you need. Why didn't I get enough pencils? Like, I'd open a pack of paper, and I'd be like, it smells like learning. <laughs> I love that sound. Oh, the future is now, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I'm going to get. This right here. I am a student again, and I can do anything. I have an agenda. <laughs> Welcome back for the final segment of UMass Sports Insider. Before we close, we need to look back at an amazing Friday night at the Mullen Center last week. In the Hockey East opener, UMass coach John Micheletto's team was trailing New Hampshire 6-1, to one, but then look and see what happened. Winding up in his own end, Marks, it's stolen out front, SCORE! And Jacobella sent it out front, SCORE! Jacobellis to Pagosi, goal. Plevy gives it to Kravchenko with speed through the zone. Wrist shot, score! Dennis Kravchenko goes across his body, far side, and beats Taroni over the glove. It is 6-4 to four with 11.54 to go here. There's the shot, score! Shane Walsh. It is 6-5. to five. Near side shot, save, redirected, score! Dominic Trento, and he ties it up. It is 6-6 six to six with 2.40 to go here in the third. The Minutemen have come all the way back. And they do it with special teams. The game would end up as a 6-6 six -six tie. What a great comeback for the Minutemen, who are off to Trenton, New Jersey, for a tournament this weekend as they try to remain undefeated. Well, that'll do it for the program. Our next new edition of UMass Sports Insider will feature a preview of UMass football's final game this season at Gillette as they host Akron the first weekend in November. 
Until next week, I'm Josh Mauer. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.